Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may preach with humility and with love, with the heart, not just with the lips. And that the people will listen, listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, happy to celebrate this first Friday Mass in September. September na po. Wow, we have come to the Burr months. Our friend Joe Marie Chan is already with us, very visible. And maganda po, he brings, he reminds us that there is something beautiful ahead. Sisters and brothers, alam ko po, many of us are already tired. Hanggang kailan ba ito? Mayroon pa bang katapusan ito? Okay na sana. Yeah, may variant na naman. May variant na naman. Paano ba yan? Please, amidst all this seemingly sad news, we must keep believing and hoping that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And we are getting there. Hope and joy. Yan po. Yan po ang kailangan po natin lahat. And every first Friday, it's so, so beautiful that there is one day during the month when the Lord tells us again in a special way, Come to me, all you who are tired and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. And he goes on to tell us, Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Ang ganda pong paalala sa atin, ha? He is meek and humble of heart. Lahat tayo, again, we are reminded, Lord, help us to remain meek and humble of heart in spite of all the things that are happening around us. And, you know, there's an interesting survey years ago in America, a um, 15-year-old and mga 30-year-old. The survey was very simple. What do you think of Christianity? It's how the young people perceive Christianity. Interesting. According to the survey, 87% said Christians are judgmental. They have something to say about everything. And 85% said many Christians are hypocritical. Yun ang perception nila. Eh. Kasi we are known to be against this, against that. We stand against this, against that. The, anyway, the survey says in the end, whether it's true or not, the fact is we are known for what we are against, more of that, rather than what we are for. And he goes on to say, may we be more known for our kindness, for our humility, selfishness, and love. Parang hindi nagre-register. In our effort to say, malito, malian, malian, kami lang magaling, you see, are we known for our humility, kindness, gentleness, openness? Mia culpa. My bad. My bad. My bad. Tama yun eh. Are we we're forgetting the main essence of our faith? It's not the rules and the doctrines and, and all the regulations. But it's the love. And if we don't bring out the love, what, what are we 
praying out. Tama tama sa gospel, di ba? Oh, your disciples are always eating and drinking. The disciples of John the Baptist were fasting. The disciples of the Pharisees marunong magfasting. Kayo kain lat sa kainom. See that kind of attitude. Somebody mentioned this morning. You know, di ba? You go to the restaurant. Tapos na unang nakayo don. May tumating din, nag-order. Aba, nauna pang na-serve yung nag-order. Bakit nauna pa sila? Di ba? Right away, meron tayong mga judgmental on na tayo, di ba? And the, the one who sent said this, you know why that happens? It may be because they ordered a simple meal. Yung in-order mo na Siguro complicated. It takes time to prepare. Uh, so, you know, if we really try to understand, hindi tayo magagalit agad. Remember, learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. So, sabi niya, it goes on to say na, instead of getting angry or mad, the situation, siguro sabi mo lang, pakifollow up lang ho yung order namin. Kasi, galit ka na. Oh, ito pang example. I heard the story of three fathers, uh, you know, husbands, waiting outside the delivery room. Okay? <laughs> Tapos lumabas yung doktor. Sabi niya, oh, Mr. Gomez, you have a boy. Sabi ng nauna, teka muna, bakit nauna siya? Kanina pa ako dito naghihintay. <laughs> I mean, how can you make such... You see how we are sensitive to being... Uh, naunahan tayo. See, again, it's a lot of pride, a lot of, ay, Lord, marami pa tayong, marami pa kaming kailangan matutunan about patience, humility, kindness. Yeah, this is what we ask the Lord, especially this time. Lord, give us more understanding of people. This time, Marami pong parang nagbabago eh. Siguro pagod na rin, galit na rin, impatient na, nagiging hopeless na. That's why dagdagan po natin ang pasensya natin sa isa't isa. Kasama na yung pasensya sa sarili mo. So, and let's always, always not be glued, glued to the situation, the problem. It's our faith that says you rise above that so that you can see. So this is our prayer today. Again, uplifting. We learn to lift up everything. Otherwise, like everybody, bagsak na tayo, miserable na tayo. And the Lord doesn't want us to be like that. God, Mama Mary, give us the grace to continue to focus on you as we go through all what's happening. These are realities, but our faith is also, should also be a reality. So sisters and brothers, I would like to repeat, think uplifting. Huwag na natin isipin yung mga nakaka-depress lang. Always think uplifting things. Number two, talk uplifting. Ang dali pong magkwentuhan ng mga negative na nakakasama ng loob. <laughs> let's, let's stop those. Whenever we find ourselves, we always find ourselves talking about, you know, the virus, about politics, about people. Mm. We have to cut ourselves and say, no, no, let's talk uplifting instead. And act uplifting. Mama Mary, please teach us to keep magnifying you. My soul magnifies the Lord. Make the Lord big, bigger than our problems, than our worries, than our sins. He is bigger than us. Don't forget that. And there is a God, and you're not Him. You're not her. There is a God. Be still and know that I am God. Trust the Lord with all your heart 
and lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Most sacred heart of Jesus, in your heart we find peace, we find comfort, we find meaning and strength. Immaculate heart of Mama Mary, make our hearts like unto thine. Amen. Amen.